Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. So first, I'd like to bid everybody a a most happy uh, new year, and uh, I hope everyone who is listening has a pleasant uh, next year. So uh, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Russian-Ukrainian war. You can see our deployment map is a pulled up, uh, courtesy of military land. And uh, over the course of the last uh, 24, 48 hours, we have seen a series of Russian missile attacks, cruise missile, ballistic missile, drone attacks against a variety of targets inside of Ukraine, to include the capital Kiev and uh, other areas throughout the country as, uh, as well. Now, the Ukrainians are claiming that they are able to shoot down the majority of these cruise missiles. And the Ukrainians also complain that the Russians are targeting civilian areas, apartment blocks, and uh, what have you. So is it possible that uh, Ukrainian, or I'm sorry, Russian missile strikes have hit civilian targets? Yes, absolutely it is. What we are probably seeing in terms of a lot of these uh, civilian areas that have been hit by missile strikes are a combination of both Russian missiles and Ukrainian air defense missiles that uh, are impacting these areas as they miss uh, or malfunction, the same as the, uh, the Russian systems as well. So the likelihood that the Russians are conducting widespread attacks against civilian infrastructure, civilian targets, apartment blocks, and what have you, is uh, is probably propaganda on the side of, of the Ukrainians. Now that's not to say that Russian missiles have not hit some of these apartment blocks. It's probably a combination of both. Russian and Ukrainian missiles, air defense missiles, in the case of the S-300, have fairly large warheads, and when they come down, they're going to detonate and cause damage. Now, what is the effectiveness of these uh, ongoing Russian cruise missile strikes? Well, the Ukrainians report nothing in terms of the success of these Russian strikes. Uh, We believe that these Russian cruise missile strikes are having an impact on the Ukrainian military. We believe the Russians are targeting command and control nodes, quite possibly uh, individual leadership commanders of the Ukrainian armed forces, headquarters, an assortment of targets that are indeed having an effect on the Ukrainians. But again, we won't be able to ascertain the true effectiveness of these strikes until after the conflict, until after a general release of information, if, if even that uh, ever were to, uh, to occur. But the Ukrainians continue to be concerned about the possibility of a Russian offensive. They keep talking in the area of February, the time frame of February, when the Russians may launch this attack, this offensive operation, allegedly in the north of the country, running from the uh, Belarusian border all the way over to uh, the uh, Bryansk Oblast in this area here. So we do expect that the Russians will launch an operation. Will it be an all-out operation around February? Difficult to say. I don't believe at this point the Russians are going to be ready for a large-scale operation that would involve a movement towards Kiev with the intent of seizing control of Kiev. There may be a Russian operation that will take place in the north, But I think the 
major operation, the main operation that the Russians are looking to to uh, conduct against the Ukrainians will probably happen in the summer. I think it's going to take some time for the uh, Russian military to reconstitute some of its forces, train and mobilize these forces that they are preparing for this uh, offensive operation uh, in the direction of uh, Chernihiv and or Kiev. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see if February comes around and we see an actual uh, offensive operation uh, by the Russians. We think we will continue to see this pressure campaign in the east towards the Bakhmut, towards Abdivka, and other areas. We will continue to see the uh, Russian cruise missile strikes on Ukrainian forces on Ukrainian infrastructure targets, power, heat, water, what have you. It's interesting that uh, Ukrainian intel, I believe it was about uh, three or four months ago, had been saying that the uh, Russians uh, only have a few hundred missiles left. Well, that has been a gross underestimate of what the Russian capability is. The Russians are almost weekly now launching 50 to 120 cruise missile strikes against Ukrainian targets, and they're continuing to do this. Again, I think this is part of the propaganda campaign, which would be normal for the Ukrainian state to try and reinvigor its civilian population that eventually uh, these uh, cruise missile strikes are going to end. It's giving the Ukrainian people a light at the end of the, of the tunnel. Unfortunately, it's probably misinformation. The Russians may have some issues in supplying these cruise missiles and may be running short on some of these cruise missiles. However, they are producing them, and as their uh, production efficiency continues to ramp up, we are going to see them produce more and more of these various types of cruise missiles and semi-ballistic missiles. So the likelihood that we will see a decrease in cruise missile strikes by the Russians, I, I don't believe, is going to occur. In fact, I think we could see a uptick in Russian cruise missile strikes against targets inside of Ukraine. But uh, again, uh, as far as the uh, tempo of operations uh, in the east, uh, the Russians have launched some recent uh, offensive operations in the east, uh, near Bakhmut, south, north, uh, again, uh, not a, uh, a significant amount of progress uh, for the Russians. Uh, it continues to be just a meat grinder of an operation, for, really, for both sides. And uh, in, in all probability, we will see uh, something much, much larger from the Russians, uh, again, probably towards summer. Now, it is possible we will see the Russians uh, open up other areas, Again, quite possibly to the north, maybe to the south, within near Zaporizhia. Difficult to ascertain at this moment. But it does look like the Russians are putting in the infrastructure that would be needed for an operation uh, within the confines of uh, Belarus and areas near Belarus, meaning to the north. So again, Happy New Year, everybody. We will be producing uh, more content very, very soon. Thank you for joining us today. More to come. Have a good day.